Oh, we broke it already. I'm always gonna get How does it feel to have people actually looking at your truck and That's talking to you good. about your truck? Pretty good. Instead of you talking about my truck. I know, I always do that. <laughs> good. If you guys missed out on the show, you guys are not gonna wanna miss the next one. All right guys, what's going on? So this is video, I wanna say four? I'm not even sure how many videos I'm on. But Sean's truck, so as you can see, this is where we painted this thing. Came out phenomenal. If you have not seen the last video, I'll drop it down in the description. You guys will wanna check that out before you watch this one. This is the actual road trip for us getting the truck. After getting the truck painted, I'm gonna ultimately taking it to the good guys show. So like I said, if you guys wanna see us actually paint this thing, I highly recommend doing it, but here's what this thing looks like. Oh boy, so we got it back together this morning. That is so cool. Backyard paint job, looks awesome. Right off the gun, looks great. Couple interesting spots, but we still gotta wet sand and polish the whole thing, so I'm not too worried about it. But this thing looks sick, super sick. I mean, that is blue. Every, every person I've sent it to, they're like, wow, that thing is blue. Very blue, it's very bright blue. So we got the trim piece on the back, so it looks pretty good. It's about as good as we're gonna call it. It's not like it's SEMA or anything. We're just here to have a good time. We're not gonna stress ourselves over every little nook and cranny in this thing. Interior's not 100% done, but most of the way there. If you guys haven't seen this video, I recommend watching it as well, where we did the whole interior and dash. It's a whole tutorial on how we did that suede dash on there. Fake suede, Alcantara, or flock I should say. But uh, yeah, getting all seatbelts in, getting the last minute adjustments. Got a new radiator from Champion in here. Massive shout out to those guys. Those are the guys. That's the entire reason we're making this trip possible is we have a massive cooling package. So massive shout out to Matt over at Champion's cooling systems supplying that for this build. You can see it right through the grill. It looks awesome. It's gonna be a fun day. So hoping this is gonna be a nice smooth commute over to Scottsdale, Arizona from San Diego. But uh, I'm gonna catch up with you guys every little step of the way. So we're gonna hit the road and see where it goes. Gonna be a long drive. Pretty comfortable at least. And yeah, we're off. Does it feel driving this thing with like the new interior and all that other stuff? It's a pretty rad. Probably pretty weird, huh? It feels nice. It feels really nice. That was really nice. You're like, wow, this thing's mine. Yeah. That's killer. Absolutely killer. <laughs> oh, we broke it already. Ooh. It's broke. God. What? It's been like five minutes and we pulled over twice. Yeah, are you surprised? Are you surprised? No. Yeah, exactly. No. We may have forgotten that there's a, a lug nut situation. Oh, it's on the other side. We uh, ran out of lug nuts. So this wheel only has four of them on this wheel. So we gotta get, we gotta like steal a lug nut from each wheel so all of them have seven. So we can, yeah, but it'll be fine. Got a chase vehicle today. Up. Watch to be like, yeah, I forgot a battery. That would suck. I brought two of them actually. Oh, look at you, all prepared. Prepared for the road. Not bad for five minutes in. Not even five minutes, to be quite honest. big fans for doing their job. This thing's going from like 180, it picks up 185 and just immediately shoots down. I'll have to get a clip of it when it drops down. But this thing like drops down to 165 in literally like 15 seconds. It's crazy how efficient the setup is. And it's going on and off and on and off. So super, super cool. I'm gonna test out our new little gas filler. So that's now in the bed. It was on the side of the bed, so we got rid of that. So let's see how it does. But everything's looking pretty good. Working pretty good. Just gotta keep it posted and keep on trucking. Man.
be a fun drive. Not any day out of the week. Yeah, yeah, we were definitely pushing that tank. That's for freaking sure. All the way. Yeah, big time. Yeah, shout out to Arizona for not having terrible gas prices like California does. Not bad. Quick that. All right, next stop after Yuma, I think is like halfway in between here and Phoenix. Or we might try to go to Phoenix. I don't know, we'll see how far we get. Phoenix would be nice if we stop in Phoenix, top off real quick before we get there, but I have a feeling we're gonna come up just a little bit short of Phoenix, so I guess we'll see. We're just talking about that. You walk around the parking lot and then just look in here and it's like, bam! This looks so freaking bright, it looks awesome. Just gonna keep going until you run out of gas again? Might refill a little bit sooner. Yeah, we pushed it a little far on that one. Yeah, we did. Maybe like eighth of a tank, we'll find a spot instead of Start looking at quarter. Yeah, yeah. Not E. Yeah, yeah. Literally E. Literally E. Well, there's nine how far you can go. And we did still didn't run out, so it's pretty good. But hell yeah, let's get some rolling shots of this thing.
a tank. Wait, what? I'm only a little below half a tank. Oh, really? Yeah. Nice. That's not bad. I know. I'm doing pretty good. Park and brake. Engage. 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 Yeah, I see what they're talking about. So every time you let off throttle, there's a little poof of smoke. Yeah. So I think what's happening is whatever's dripping burning. off the transmission's hitting the mufflers. Yeah, and, and it's, it's just burning, burning it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But how's it driving? So pretty good. Same thing. Solid. Nothing really different from when I was in it. Nope. Sweet, dude. Get a load. I gotta show you some of these rollers, dude. Does this thing stop itself when you're filling it? What's that? Did it stop itself the last one? Yeah. Okay, cool. This filler mod is pretty dope. I might need to. Hell yeah. I might need to pull forward a little more. Parking brake disengaged. All right, guys. It's currently technically 9:30. No. Is it? Eight? No, it's, it's only 8:30, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's 8.30, so we have about another hour in this drive, which isn't too bad. Sean's on his second fill-up, and he's only at like a half a tank, which is impressive, and we're south of Phoenix right now. So we just gotta go shoot up to Phoenix a few miles, and then just shoot over a little bit to Scottsdale, and then we'll call it for the night. So I'm gonna catch you guys up when we get actually into Scottsdale. down on a gas station. Well, I cleaned down the window and there were little drips, all right? <laughs> Might as well see what the nice clean parts of the paint look like, right? Yeah? Okay. Finally made it. We are in uh, Scottsdale, Arizona. This is actually, I was expecting this road trip to have a little more roadkill on it, but I'm not even gonna question or complain about any of that. This went really well. I'm incredibly happy. Sean Strokes behind me. It looks great. We're gonna get some sleep and we're gonna head to good guys in the morning. I'm incredibly pumped to see all you guys and meet up with a bunch of buddies that I haven't seen in a long time. So it's gonna be a good weekend. But I mean, just take a look at this thing. This thing is a beauty. It's got a show car grill on it right now. Damn. Yeah, this thing drove awesome all the way here. Looks awesome, drove awesome, sounds awesome, perfect. See you guys in the morning. All right. Next morning, this thing looks freaking sweet. It's still kind of weird to us walking around and being like, dang, that's Sean's truck. That is not Sean's truck. So it's a little bit of a, an experience, I guess, to say the least, but this thing looks rad. I'm super pumped. We did an amazing job on this. Shout out to all the guys that helped out with this thing. Sean walks up to me, he's like, I forgot something. Can't forget your steering wheel. You might need this. Yeah, just don't walk out the door. Just a little bit. Can't go very far without that. Can't go very far with keys. You really can't go very far with the steering wheel. you and making me do bad things and spend money on cars I probably shouldn't. I see some crew cabs over there. Guys aren't hiding from me. Hey look at that boys. Holy crap boys. Look at that. That's a sight. Too bad it's backlit. But damn, that looks cool. That is something. Look at that. You got all sorts of cool cars. You got freaking Impalas, you got some Chargers, you got some more F100s over there. So this is just a little bit. There's a whole section of these things which will most likely get moved. I have a feeling we're gonna move again, but just right off the bat, I mean, damn, these things are sick. 
Oh, uh, hell yeah. There's some more of the F100s. Crew cabs. That's on a Raptor chassis. Four door stretch Bronco. Look at that. That's insane. There's another chassis swap. This one's on a newer F150 chassis. It's got, the, I think, the 10 speed in it. That thing's sick. That's a hell of a driver. And we've got this thing, I think it's 65.6, six, something like that. Wow, this thing's cool. Look at that. That's insane. This thing's massive. And super lux. That's a look. That is a look. Yeah, man, that looks really good. Oh yeah. Oh, uh, look what we got. We got Kyle Delphel. Hell yeah. What's up? Hey. This is so sick! All that too? This is like the greatest show ever. We got all sorts of cool stuff here. And I mean, there's there's other cars too, but like the important stuff's over here. There's, just when you think you have all of them, there's even more. That is crazy! How many four doors there are, this is ridiculous! Oh my god, 68? Short bed? Let me guess, 12 out? Oh yeah! That's your new daily, right? Hopefully. 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 Get rid of the sports car, get an old truck with a 12 valve, and yep. you're ready to rock. Pretty much. Hell yeah. <laughs> Damn! That's sick. Dude, who are these freaking YouTubers, dude? Get the hell out of my way. I think they just own the place. Ah, oh, yeah, this thing's sick. Yeah, you gotta go try the There's Kyle. Yeah. Man, that a Wow. That's a big truck. Wow. Stretched and everything. It's like a like early 2000s F250 chassis for cab long bed. But he stretched the cab, not the doors. It's a cool look. I got a four-door Bronco. It's really rad. With the diesel, 7.3 in it and everything. Damn! 7.3? Oh yeah, that's cool. Yeah, McGuire's was nice enough to send out a little care package to help detail this thing. So this is their quick detailer, which is really helping getting the engine bay all cleaned up. It works really well. I already cleaned the front of it and used it. I know you're not supposed to use it. It's not what it's meant for, but I used it to get all the bugs off the front from our road trip out here. <laughs> yeah, so we Took had a, a lot bunch of bugs, bugs up. So it shines this up really nice and yeah. this stuff works. Yep. Oh, yeah, look at that. That dust just come right off. Did it jump the solenoid? Sweet. Oh, it's so satisfying. I love it. 
Well, next thing we've got to use is the Meguiar's Ultimate Foam Tire Shine. So we're gonna go ahead and get this thing on because after a road trip and a bunch of desert trips, these things are looking really gray and foggy. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and clean these things up. Dang, that's a crazy difference. I mean, apparently it, you don't even have to scrub this, which is really cool. It's just got little, like three little directions on it. You just shake it and then hold it, you know, four to six inches away. And then you just spray the whole thing and then just watch it do its thing. And that's really all there is to it. So that's actually pretty cool. Sweet. So yeah, you can see the difference between the front and the back great. is insane. I mean, we just drove from San Diego to Arizona and all I had to do was spray this on. So this stuff's actually pretty sweet, dude. Look at that. No glass, no bed, no nothing. Sean's like, oh no, I don't know, I gotta finish my truck. Yours is done, dude. That looks sick. That tire shine looks awesome. Once yeah. it's kind of dry, it's gonna be all nice and deep black again. Sean, I'm always gonna get how does it feel to have people actually looking at your truck and That's talking to you good. about your truck? Pretty good. Instead of you talking about my truck. I know I always do that. <laughs> yeah, this is sick. You got something to brag about, that's for damn sure. This thing does stick out. Even in this crowd of all these trucks, this like fluorescent blue just pops and just glows. Yes, it does. Absolutely. <laughs> that looks amazing. Man, Cowboy's out here rocking. That thing sounds sick. Yeah. We had an all original 77. This thing has not been restored. That is the original thing. This is the nicest crew cab. That's original that I have ever laid eyes on. I mean, that thing is flawless. Well, I think at this point you have officially made it. We can officially say we did it. I would agree with that. So, I think that's pretty sick. Call that a win, dude. Hell yeah. This thing is stupid clean. The nice motorcycle in the back, the cabs. Wow, this is a nice truck. Oh my god. That is super nice. Wow. This is like the cleanest Chevy truck I've ever seen. That's clean. That's so nice. Just casual things, I guess you see. Damn. Wow. Nice. That's normal, right? That's cool. This is a nice car. Got the Big Willie's garage truck out here again. This thing's sick. Whipple charge. Yeah, we saw this at Dino's. This was front and center. This is a really cool truck. Yeah, this thing's phenomenal. Red everything. But it's just, it's just crazy cool. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. I was gonna ask him what color the powder coat is on all the trim, because I love that color. It's like a satin, like gray yeah. almost. And the wheels too, I mean, that looks super cool. Made it indoors. All right, made it finally indoors. Kinda sucks you have to wear a mask, but I get it. Um, I'm hoping there's like the show cars are in here so I can show you guys some really cool stuff, but regardless, it's a little bit cooler in here. I'm already getting sunburned, you know, the red hair, fair skin thing. I get sunburned pretty easily, so I'm gonna kind of cool off for a little bit. This 
slick side running the autocross course. Thanks. 46051 a personal best. We got Josh over here and that F100, that thing's sweet. Got the Muncie sticker on the back. Hell yeah, we're gonna check that car out when, uh, when it comes back around, pump the scales. So I just want to give you guys a little bit of a representation of how large this place actually is. I've never been here. Autocross course, we got the indoor building we were just in. The crew cabs are way over there in the back. And then we have the entire show behind me. So, it's very big. A little bit bigger than Del Mar, if I had to admit, but uh, really, really cool either way. Look at this thing. This thing's good looking. That is a good looking truck. We have Muncie Speed Carbon Fiber Fenders on there. Oh. Damn, I need to finish my Crown Vic swap. Alright, come down right off the gate. There are so many cars to walk through. I don't really know how well I'm going to cover this or if I'm going to cover it. I'm probably going to pick out some of my favorites. I mean, just some of the different stuff you don't really see too often. But. Yeah. No, we saw that at Dino's. Oh, was that the same one? That was like the one Chevy in an entire Chevy yeah, show. We're like, this that thing's is, pretty that's cool. The same one. Yeah, no, that thing's cool. Big block 396 on that thing. That thing's rad. Any car show you go to and you get to see a wing car, it's a good day. Wow. That's a dark car. That is nice. What is this? A little cheap. Why the interior? This one. Oh my god, it's a four speed. Right, I'm gonna get food. What? Okay. Does it have a tack too? Oh, a TikTok tack. No, that, that's a TikTok tack. Yeah, it's clock with the tack on, on the yeah. outside. Yeah. This thing has all really good options. Damn. I want to know what motor's though. It's probably a 440. Oh, yeah. It says it on the build sheet right oh, there. Yeah, right there. 440 yeah, is a different four speed. 440 four speed? That's cool. With the Hemi four yeah, speed, Dana 60. Radio delete. That's sick. Oh, so this thing's got some good options for sure. Nice. These are cool. Oh my I goodness. Oh, no. These are the cars that I like. What the hell? <laughs> 482. Oh, it's stroked out to 482. Even better. And it's a tunnel port, baby. Nice. Is this a 40 or 41? Oh, it is a 40. 40, 427 in it. Oh my god, this thing's probably a riot. So I barely caught a glimpse of this thing when we were walking in. Sheesh. Oh, it's a Torino. That is so sick. I think this is like an actual like old dirt track car. I think it is. Oh my god. It has to. That's so sick. This is my kind of stuff. Can let seam delete. Oh my god. Everything about this is perfect. Four speed. Four speed in it. Dude, this is like a car that I just would straight up be like, how much you want for it right now? I'm buying it. How much you want? This is sick. This is freaking rad. This is perfect. Oh my I love this. Like an old riveted door handle. Yeah, how do you even get in it? Yeah. There's no windows. Just open the freaking door on the inside. All business, baby. I wonder what motors in this thing. I bet you it has a Cleveland in it. So later, later, Torino. Oh. Big radiator. Say what's in it. 429. Oh wow. 429 five speed. Doug Nash. Nice. Wow. This thing's gonna this thing probably rips. This thing's fast. Yeah. That is wicked. Dude, side pipes and everything. This is my kind of stuff. I love this. Alright. This is what I was talking about. I've been looking for this one of these the entire weekend. Yes. Soon, baby. Soon. This is sick. Oh my god. Powder coated. Wow. This is red. Oh my gosh. What the hell, dude? Holy interior. This thing's really nice. Um, it's got full suede headliner in it. I love what they do with the gauges. Oh my goodness. Look at this thing. That is incredible. All right, well, I don't know who you are, but we're gonna be best friends, buddy. I had I just talked talking to the owner, really cool guy. Got a lot of little tips and tricks. That looks sick. This gives me some serious motivation. This is what we're going for. Coyote, 64 Galaxy, badass car. You cannot tell me that it's not a good looking car. So, that made my trip. That's freaking sick. I'm stoked. Now I'm gonna go spend more money, because I suck and I'm stupid. Just a little close up of that. This Bronco, I think it's a 2012, something like that, early gen. Roush 6.2, supercharged. 
This thing's super straight too. They uh, they stretch these doors. They was telling me, and it's even got the latches from the new Raptor, a full interior from the new Raptor, all the backup cameras, the assists, all the drivability, and it's a freaking Bronco and a four door, which is crazy. So I mean, you can see the Raptor shocks right there. So this thing's sick. And then I mean, I, I can give like a, a little walk around of every single truck here. There's just so much to go through. I mean, you got 6.0 power stroke diesel. This is like a 60. Four, something like that. Yeah, 64, crew cab, 6.0. I think so. A lot going on. Oh no, this one has 12 out man. That's sick. This one's probably my favorite. This one actually, yeah, this one's definitely my favorite. This one's got the really polished patina. It's got a 12 valve. It's actually on the Dodge chassis. You can see it throughout the whole thing. And then it has the five speed in it. It still looks the way that it should, which is sick. And it's a short back crew cab in a really cool color combo, too. This thing's there's two of them. What the hell? I'm just keep going. Wow. This thing's a little nice. Coyote. This is a 66. 67. Yeah. 67 Galaxy. Look at the interior in this thing. Full leather with the Mustang shifter. Shave dash, shave door handles. I freaking love the autocross section. Everything's all flared out, badass. Damn. Good though. Six just bolted right in then. Right. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So tell me about the setup on the suspension of this thing. So you said Crown Vic front and rear? Crown Vic front end. We did uh, right tech coilovers with a little bit of Ron Sutton secret sauce on them. All right. And then a four link in the rear also with coilovers. Nice. Dude, this thing's sick. I love it. Drive it often? Her truck, not nice. my truck. Hell yeah. As long as it gets driven, that's good. Yeah, it gets driven. Sweet. That's cool. I love it. Yeah. I love it. Love it. Love it. Looks good. Sick, heavy powered, and everything. That's a big one. Damn. Nice. It's very rare you ever see a Willys that doesn't look like this. That's so sick, though. I love it. Hell yeah. I'm pretty sure this is an old fire truck. It's definitely what it looks like. But the cool part is, is it's uh, it's got a cat motor in it. That's rad. And it's that's even cooler. All right, guys, I'm gonna show you a final little walkthrough. It's really late in the day, so a couple of the trucks have left, but I figure I need to walk through this section. If you guys haven't seen all the crew cabs, I need to show you guys what we got going on. So, I mean, this thing's coyote swapped, which is freaking rad. I didn't even realize it until a little bit ago. This thing has coyote in it, which is sick. So, no big deal. And then we got the Raptor Bronca. It's stretched over here. This thing looks freaking sweet. These guys did an awesome job with this thing. I already showed you guys that one. The best original example of a 77 F-250 crew cab that I've ever seen in my life. So, I mean, this thing's never been repainted. And I mean, wow. This one's got a 12 valve, 24 valve, one of the two in it. It's pretty cool. Coming swapped. High boy, flatbed, cowboy, I'm gonna call it that. Another come and swap. Another come and swap. This is like come and swap city right now. 
Not a coming swap. Sean's with the 460. You guys have seen this thing a bunch of times. It's another stretch crew cab Bronco. This is on a 7.3 power stroke chassis. It's pretty sick. You can hear that one rumbling. Another 7.3. This one's stretched. It's a little weirdly stretched, but it is really long. So 7.3, 7.3, 7.3. All of them are chassis swaps that I'm aware of. And yeah, pretty cool. This one's almost, or not almost done, but it's getting there. It drove in. Another crew cab. I believe this one still has an FE in it. That's what I think. Yep. I still got an FE. We got another 12 valve swap with the grill guard. This one's sweet. Love it. It's the same rolling out. That is a big truck. I cannot imagine going to a parking lot with that thing. And that thing's probably like 20 feet long at least. God, that thing's big. I got that thing. So sick. And then we got this one on the Super Lugs. 12 out as well. You guys saw this one earlier. This one's super clean. And another crew cab. I think this one's just got the FE in it. Slip side. We got 66 with the FE in it. Short bed. There's a surprising number of the slick side crew cabs, which I didn't really think was there gonna, I didn't really think there was gonna be that many. F-150 chassis swap, it's another crew cab slick side. We got Kyle's all original. This is like the best example of a slick side crew cab I've ever seen. Also original paint, if you can believe that. This thing's amazing. Yeah, awesome, awesome, awesome. Good. Still got the 300 in it. Drove this thing all the way down from Washington to get here. And it didn't even blatt an eye, it did it perfectly. One more crew cab. Nah, I'm just kidding, there's like three more. But you guys get the point, tons of amazing trucks here. Yeah, I can't even get them all in one photo, it's ridiculous how many. And we got the pro YouTuber over there, he's getting all the shots. Oh yeah, getting all those angles. Look at that guy. Hell oh, yeah, hell oh, yeah. Josh's truck looks so sick. All the Muncie bits on this thing, the heat extractors, fenders are carbon, the buckets are carbon, basically all of the interior is carbon, the bumper is carbon, I mean, damn, this thing is a force to be reckoned with, it's ridiculous, god this thing is sick, it's kind of dwindling down, it's finally starting to get colder out, cooler which is nice. All right, guys, that is going to call it for day one at uh, Good Guys here in Scottsdale, Arizona. Amazing group of guys. If you guys are not familiar with the F100, you know, crew cab, super cab, uh, or any of the F100 groups, you know, F100 World, you got the crew cab pages, you got all these guys on Instagram with all these trucks. And you'll see Ford Air is a big one that posts them. You know, Solomon, awesome good guy there. You know, he, he helps us scene a lot. Uh, and there's a ton of great guys that make this all happen. So without all these guys coming together, you wouldn't have had all these crew cabs here to show off. So massive thank you to all the guys that make this scene possible. You know, Cummins guys and I, I, Kyle Delphil with the, you know, the Shelby swaps. And there's just too many guys to thank. But without them, this would not even be possible. You know, go on Instagram, like their photos, you know, interact with them because those are the nicest guys you'll ever talk with. So we're going to wrap it up. We're going to go hang out back at the hotel for a little while, take Sean's truck back. I'm going to sit in the pool. I'm fried. We're going to chill there and do absolutely nothing until we feel hungry enough to get off our butt and go get some food. So I'll see you guys then. so sick we are buying a truck like this if you guys got a got a crew cab you want to get rid of and if it's got a 12 valve in it hit sean up he's in the market baby yeah gotta have something to tow this out like it's gotta sound like that hell yeah freaking sweet We're making our own crew cab section over here yeah. all the other guys are way 
out there. I don't know why they parked all the way in the back, as far as you can see. Gosh, Kyle and all those other guys make me want to walk all the way over there. Jeez. So we had a crew cap section yesterday, but a lot of the guys went home, so we're making our own today. So hopefully we can get a pretty good amount of trucks. This is gonna be kind of cool. This thing's so sick. I love how it's like not pristine and clean, but it's not like total patina like that one. It's like right in the middle to where it's like a perfect driver. Super clean unibody over there. Hell yeah. So sick. This is the cool kid group. <laughs> all right guys, day two. So we got all the crew cabs out. I'm gonna do another little walk around for you guys so you guys can actually get a picture of all the trucks that are here. Uh, a lot more than I thought and new ones did show up. So I wanna kinda walk around with all the, there isn't any music playing around this time. So I won't get all copyrighted, but I did wanna share some of these with you because they're really cool. So there are a lot of them. So I'm gonna do a quick little walk around. It's a nice little, I think it's the 68. We saw that one yesterday. Random Chevy in, in the group. We saw that power stroke swap. Spence 12 off swap. And then we've got old Ford crew cabs. This has a coyote in it. I think we saw this one yesterday as well. This one showed up today. Another 12 valve swap. This one's super clean. Looks good. And we got a 69. This is probably one of my favorites because it's a long bed with a 12 valve in it. Five speed. I mean, look at how big this truck is. It is humongous. Eight foot bed. 12 valve, five speed, and then another crew cab ranger. And then we've got some unibodies, all the short beds. This is where, if I brought my truck, I would have been right here, but there's so many trucks. I don't even know what to do with myself. So many trucks, it looks so good. If you guys missed out on the show, you guys are not gonna wanna miss the next one. That uh, wraps it up, Arizona. I'm gonna head back to San Diego, get this thing back on the road. about wraps it up baby back from scottsdale this thing made it with no problems kind of cleaned all the bugs off the front of it so now it looks all good and uh i'd say that's a job well done i think it did pretty well oh, i'll yeah. say so myself yeah how many so you filled up six times in total six times in total yeah from san diego to scottsdale and back and a little bit around scottsdale i think it did pretty dang well 10 miles to the gallon calculated it out yeah we did, did the math it came out to pretty much 10 miles to the gallon pretty close to it uh, it did did really well. Drove straight, no issues the whole time. We had a little issue with the filler neck because we got some gas down the vent hose, Hand but just up. loosened it a little bit. It all drained out, filled it up, kept going. There was no pretty much no issues at all. So yeah, I'm really happy with how it did. Oh yeah, couldn't for sure. couldn't have asked for any better trip. Really, yeah. everything was awesome. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I was stoked. Everybody was stoked to see it. People were taking photos. How did it feel to have people come take photos in your truck and talk to you about your truck? It was pretty rad. I liked it. <laughs> yeah, I bet you did. Yeah. So. It's kind of funny how we got to stop taking jokes so seriously because we keep ta ta telling ourselves like, oh, well, you know, it'd be funny if we did this, this, or this, or it'd be funny if we took this show all the way to Arizona or this truck all the way to Arizona and painted it before and you know, a couple of years later, it keeps happening, but uh, it's not a bad thing. Besides the fact it costs a lot of money. Yes, it does. It costs a lot of money. Yes, I mean, it does. these are not sub thousand dollar trips that we're taking when we go to Arizona both times for me and him. I had to do a whole motor. He had to do this. So none of it's cheap. So keep that in mind when you're doing this. But it's well worth it. It's a lot of fun. Totally so. worth it. Yeah, you use it as a big kick in the butt to get something done. And if you have a week, an actual like set deadline to where if you don't make it, you know, 
you know, it's you don't get to experience it. Then you it get, got a lot done to your truck. Yeah, I got a lot done cool. to mine, and I drive mine now a lot. I was driving it today, and he drove this thing all the way down to work. Yeah, 40 minute drive down to work, and this is two days after we got back, and the thing's still doing great. So it's cool now that both the trucks are done. So we got some shows this weekend we're gonna cruise to. We're gonna start driving these trucks and doing a lot more stuff with them because they are done and they do work. So why not drive them? So stay tuned for that. You know, massive thank you to everybody that helped out with this and the entire week that we were, you know, slamming this thing out. All the great guys out there in Arizona that were hunting coming out to hang out with all the crew cabs making us feel like the odd one because we were the only super cab out of all of those i thought there was gonna be I didn't more even see one at the show <laughs> there was like one that drove through and then he like drove away and he wasn't even a part of our group so you were the only guy there with a super cab which is a little weird it was pretty rad i was the only only super cab and a fleet of crew cabs yeah so. but at the same time it, it was, was cool awesome. because if you didn't want to look at a crew cab you could look at sean's truck so that was nice but uh anyways like the video if you did enjoy let me do you think down in the comments below we'll see you guys in the next video with both our trucks and maybe next time in arizona we actually will drive both of them all the way out there so i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys